Executive Exile returns with the ultimate refitting episode. So we have a lot of refits to do. Uh, so many refits to do. Um, first things first. These guys. So you're going to need... Efficiency or... Oh, wait a second. Am I even on this planet? Yeah, okay. So that would be you. Okay. Let's get efficiency overhaul. Let's get... Do I need cargo holds on this, or should I go fuel? I think I should go cargo holds. And you can stay... like that. Nothing else matters. We can't do anything else yet. Um, you have weapons, so that's wonderful. Just gonna knock some of this stuff off. You can have random weapons, that I don't care about. But it's the other weapons you can't have. Yeah, we'll get rid of all this. Throw them cargo holds on there. The expanded cargo holds... It'll be 30%. Oh. Expanded cargo holds actually don't make sense. So your fuel tanks, however, do make sense. Yes, yeah, 900 fuel versus 200. So yeah, yeah. We'll just do. Whoops. Auxiliary fuel tanks on all of them. Oh, these things were really good. I remember these. The Zon playthrough. Man, they were good times. What a great weapon. Take these off. Take these off. Put efficiency and auxiliary fuel tanks on. So you guys are all good to go. They're all good to go. Alright. Now, you're rocking some Morgans. Uh, what a strange build you have, sir. And whatever this gun is, 600 range, looks like a blaster of some sort. You have two of them. You got hardened shields, you have stabilized shields. You're rocking, I don't even know. What is all this? Increasing damage of fighters and missiles by 100%. Specialized micro force fields around all weapon mounts increases their health by 100%. An officer of level 5 will be capable of bringing out the machine's full potential, increasing general performance by 20%. Um, additionally, the need for specialized maintenance means supply use for maintenance and time recovered is doubled if the fleet does not have the regalia gantry, but in fact it does. So, this is... This is a beam. It does a lot of damage. Wow. That actually might be good. Custos Defender. Can't take that off. Uh, missiles. Slapping some spike missiles on it. Wouldn't that be fun? Crickets. Yeah. Tremors. Cruise missiles. So you're using the Gorgons, which is a laser missile. I could just slap jab rockets and make you, um, you're a brawler. The Queen of Jupiter, let's see. Let's go, Queen of Jupiter. 25 points. You have four guns. What can you do with these 25 points? You're destroyer sized. It's insanely expensive. Okay. You're slow, too. Oh. What's that business? Oh, plasma rounds. Mm, maybe jab rockets are better for you. Instead of these ones. So these ones are great for doing armor damage, which is fine. So what we 
you hit plasma rounds and then fire your guns, they do more damage. The thing is, he's, the ship is really slow. It's 85 speed, I mean, that's not fast enough. Yeah, wow. Okay. And you have this. You're you're cool, but you lack range. Okay, okay, okay. So you're cool. You got a big fat Panzerfaust gun. Giant anti-armor gun. You have an anti-shield gun too. You might be just better. It is very possible that you might be just better. Their armor is really high. Okay, what's your fancy toy? Microfusion rounds. Alright. Let's see what you do. Okay, those are to knock shields down. Much, much better already. Yeah, this ship is much better. You got that range. You got that range, so, okay. What about you? What do you have? You got a blaster, and then you got this big fat missile launcher. Anti-armor weapon. Shoots little missiles though. Each missile is fit 200 damage. Let's see, any expanded missile racks going? Why well, I'm not 100% sure. But you do, so let's give you a try. Let's see, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. I might have said that, I don't know. Do, do, do the thing, support the channel. If you're into that sort of thing. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Yeah, that's some serious missile action. And then you got plasma rounds. Does this big weapon shoot too slow? It has so many missiles. Alright. It's an interesting weapon. What do you have? Two long range anti shield guns that hit armor or hull for extra high explosive damage. So you're a fire support. You have a beam and an anti shield. And then you have weapon stabilizers. Oh, yeah, increases damage and stuff. You have machine guns? Ooh. How exciting. How exciting. Uh, this is a four point missile launcher. So how about... Yeah, how about a couple of little ARAMs. Sure. This is, this is all kinds of fun. Hardened shield. You have a flux shunt. Dipset hard flux at 50% of the normal rate when shields are on. Oh, aren't you interesting? Okay, let's have you go up against this guy and see what's up. They don't have a lot of weapons, so things can be tough. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my. Um, yeah, you have no way to stop an enemy with the weapons that you have, unless I find a way to do
Is this that laser? Shouldn't you guys be switched? Eh, yeah, maybe not. Um, I need an anti-armor missile. Like you. The jabs would work too. These work better. One jab, one knot. This might work. This might work. So I really like the fact that he's got two of these chain guns. Just knock shields down. So you can do that. And they have EMP on them. So they're extra amazing. Then you can just shoot your missiles whenever you need to. That one missile hit. These things do almost no damage to armor. But they can just shoot for what seems like ever. Uh, I don't... I think it might be microfusions that are causing the... Yeah. Microfusion is causing all that mess. Fire that torpedo. There it is. Boom. Blocked it. Okay, I'm really liking this one. That one just seems super strong. Are, do these things have unlimited ammo? <laughs> it's what they have. And then microfusion. Mmm. Additional explosion dealing energy in some range. What are these? These are energy frag blasters. These things might be amazing too. I and mean, they got a decent range. Okay, there's oh, you jump. Surprise. Boom, boom. Uh, they shoot incredibly fast? Yeah, why would I ever use regular bla lasers? You'll never kill him. He's got your number. Yeah, well first off, this gun is super cool. Third, you have face skimmers, so you're really cool. You have one of those guns, and you got this missile. You have the flex shunt too, which makes you even more dangerous. So, um, type G and type A seem pretty darn good right now. So many types. What about you? Yeah, you fire tons of missiles, which I like. And then you have a temporal shell, which makes you go really fast. Which I also like. Look how fast it's shooting. This one seems pretty good. Oh. That's a tracking gun. Schwaben flung missiles. We are going full speed now. Dodge that. I think they all got dodged. But, oh man, the damage. The damage. This one has like less range. But definitely better than that first one we saw. And Temple Shell. My goodness. My goodness. Okay. Temple Shell might be the way to go. Generates flux when in use. 
Just have to change these weapons out because they're not exactly right. Spike MRT. Good missile. Tap Swarm Launcher would also be good. Does this do fragment damage? This is armor damage. So like Double Swarm would be Oh, powerful. Really powerful, but actually I think Double Swarm would be powerful. Trip Interdictor. This is your anti engine missile. Okay, I need to see what this is gonna look like. This should be a ton of missiles flying out. Should be. Because you got the swarm missile launchers. And then the, yeah. Little tap guys. There's a big old swarm. For armor killing. Fire all the guns. Can't even can't even deal with it because the extra speed of this guy. He shoot missiles too. Wow, those missiles can hit that far. That must have stung. Missiles. More missiles. Will these even hit? No, the shield's just gonna be up. Okay, hold on. If I fight with this guy, hmm, say like one of these. This is a very fast ship. So it's gonna be rough, but we have the temple shell, so it will allow us to skirmish, which is what I need. This thing should cause absolute mayhem. Yep. That's exactly what I thought was gonna happen. So the general idea, you shoot the big gun, and it just pops off. Damage, 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 damage. 600 damage a second, knock shields down. This thing gets whipped. Any armor damage that gets blown up, then it's the tap swarm missiles that does the rest of the work. Downside is tough to deal with things. Okay, so this one is the least good one. You need, I mean, technically you shoot really fast, but your range is really slow. And then plasma rounds give you extra 300 damage and frag damage, which is great, but you need ways to knock shields down. So I would need like, I mean, these would be okay. You might have to use the salamanders. That might be the way to go. Weird Rosenreader missile. Sky Serpent Missiles. Might be that you have to use Poke Pods. Because they just fire a lot. Ooh, what else do we have? Need like... Anthropos. Here's the Punch Cruise Missile for armor. Torpedo might be a good one. The uh, MVS Torpedo, which I have none of. I mean, I have this. This reloads. Start with three of them. Unguided Torpedo does tons of damage. And then you need a... Uh, Rift Pulse Cycler, probably. Maybe that would work. 
No, you run hot. These things run hot. The Swiftfall Cycler like won't even fire, really. Also, the shields... Wow. The Hardened Shield gets you down to 5-6. That's super good. You don't even have a shield mod. You do, right? Yeah. Okay, let's try this with the torpedoes. Let's see what happens. I'm still trying to make this thing work. I think its range is just not good enough. So this one has to go away. Okay, now you're firing. Yeah, things are going to be faster than you too. Yeah, fire the Rift Bolt Cycler. That was a huge damage. Now you're overloaded. Yeah, okay. Now well, this has to be a PD. I mean, even one of these might be fine. Your fragmentation gun. This is the same range. Mini pulsar. It's too much, that's a problem. Your flux per second is really slow. So you'll probably be better. Um, oh, it's gotta be, it's gotta be Sabos, right? Well, the best missile I can think of would be these ones, not these ones, these ones. Poke missiles. It's as good as it gets, but you're still super, you run just hot. That's part of the issue. I mean, you don't have the uh, the thing I need for it. Impact me at point defense. No shield, but you're still level seven. All right, give it one more try. One more try before I give up on this thing. Just put it in storage where it belongs. Anti-shield missiles, didn't hit. Plasma missiles, hit, but you gotta fire those guns. Uh, it doesn't look like it's... it's... That ain't it. No. No. You're not gonna make it. You're not gonna make it. So we'll just... Take these weapons off. Do this. Unpilot it so I can put it away. Wait. Put it away. Oh, I could just sell it. Well, it sells for a lot, too. Yeah, okay, Queen of Jupiter, go away. You are cut, sir. Um, I think this one's cut, too. And again, you got this anti-shield gun. It should do better than it did. It should do better than it did. Because it's got that big cannon. Then you got, you got the anti, yeah, that. So microfusion rounds give you EMP. And you have a big old blaster that could do big old damage. I mean, it's not terrible. He can he can chop through. Um, this one's bad. This one's definitely bad. We don't like the D class, so we'll get rid of that one as well. Uh, this one. There's two slow shooting guns, which I think I skipped over. Let's look. 
Fire the lasers. Okay, well that's a fancy Gensaku super missile. Sure sounds nice. Makes a cool sound, wow. Yeah, you just fire. Accelerated ammo feeder makes it shoot faster. I mean, you're not doing tons of damage. Interesting. Okay, you you can stay. Um, I think you can stay too. We didn't try this one. Let's give it a try. You got a big laser. Oh, it looks so cool. Pew 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 pew. You know, weapon stabilizer just makes your weapon stronger. Shoots farther. That's it. That's your that's your shoot. So you're not DACA ships. We do like DACA dra doctrine. Can't lie about that. I have a feeling. I have a feeling. That rocking these things is the best choice. These ones too. These guys can just bully. This guy can bully. So those three can bully you. No. No, no, no. You ain't it. You ain't it. Take you out. And you are also not it. Gotta get replacements for you. We'll dump all these three. I'll keep you around because you're part of DACA squad. Um, you're actual DACA. You're a blaster. And you're a missile blaster. Yeah. So you're the best because you have this. Allows the ship to dissipate hard flux at 50% above normal rate while shields are on. G class. I think the the three I'm gonna replace it with are G class. Yeah, and we'll just have these guys sprinkled on the fleet to lock down opponents. That's their entire purpose. They're on lockdown duty. So let me custom production this. Ship holes G class. The rotary cannons. One, two, three. Confirm order. Putting a lot of stuff. Okay, what do we have next to do? We have to check you guys out. Alright, so you're the one I built. And it I mean it underperforms all by itself. You know what? We'll do I'll do these later. Let's start with these guys. Kind of weird builds you have. Just all kinds of stuff. What is this thing? A Merv catapult. All right, so I think what I'll do first is. Oh, first I gotta make sure you have a mix of fighters, bombers. You all have fighters. You're rocket fighters too. You're all rocket fighters. So only this guy has bombers. Interesting. Okay, well, the weapon you can use, I could get the mini breaths, but the recharge is too long. These would actually be really good too. These would be very good. Uh, just a bunch of these. Thermoronic stingers because the flux per second is very low. Right? Flux per non EMP damage is 0.29. So they just can fire and they do a lot of damage. Hmm. 
That would actually be good. We'll do that on one ship. Second stage tracking is nice. But I think... I think we're after... Missile. Where is it? One of these. Yeah, that's what you're going to have. Um, I need those proper guns. Ballistics. It's four size. Yeah, I need these. I need those on every single ship. Yeah. Um. Yep, you need them. I might swap these out, I don't know. But what we'll do is we'll just do that on every ship. So we have them. And missiles can't hit us. That's the general plan. No more missiles allowed on these ships. Don't have enough points. Those things are cool. Yep. Um, thistles? Thistle, thistle. Okay, you're gonna be like that. You're gonna be like that, and you are good. I could put, yeah, okay, so that was all those. Then I have to decide, do I want pulsar carbines? I think I do. Other options, cryo artillery. Other, I could put these on there too to just really solidify. Crowd flamer is not going to work; it's just not fast enough ever. Um, you're going to have the missile. You're going to have the missile. So that's great. Oh, look at this. That's crazy. Okay, so you guys all have the missiles. Um, don't like the illusion laser here. Could go with one of these bad boys. They shoot too much, though. So. Too much heat. I'm of range. Are you aggressive? You are steady, so you're going to stay nice and far away is what you're going to do. That is the idea. Far, far away. Micro-missiles. Catapults. Tremors. Some crazy, I don't know what gun this is. Ion beam? I need some graviton beams out there. So I'm going to throw a graviton beam on you. So can I have like... Graviton... Need some. It's at size 9. Graviton beam. Need like 4 graviton beams. And then... This is 8 size. I have 10 available. Double cruise missile, yeah, well, it happens. This is 10 size. It's a big fat laser. It doesn't... It shoots fast, but... I guess it's better than one of our other lasers, right? This is a fragmentation laser. And it can shoot whenever. 
Damage is also very high. You know what? We're gonna use it. Congratulations, big old fragmentation laser. What other crazy guns do we have? I don't know, we're gonna use energy weapons. Let's see. Oh, let's see. Could use like an ion beam. Don't want to use a spirit seal. Heavy PD is not going to cut it. You're not good enough. You do really good fragmentation damage as well. Not as good as the other one. But you only have max charges, so you do have a limit to how much you can fragment. So you'd be kind of less good. This is really close range. Heavy pulse laser. Hmm, railgun. It's a dual multi-purpose railgun. Does extra damage. Chain gun does not do a lot of damage. It's great against shields. If anything, it's close. This thing is decent. Everything's in the 600 range. None of these are. None of these are the good ones. Uh, it does do EMP damage, which could be useful. It shoots kind of slow. Damage per second is low. That's a maybe. That's a maybe on this one. Your weapon flux is really high. Is this because these are really high? So what's our other options for guns? So can you just like blaster cannons and stuff? These things obviously do big damage, but also a lot of flux. But there's also like these crazy weapons too, like railguns and stuff. Which don't do as much damage. Uh, we always got this crazy grenade launcher thing. You know what? You're doing these crazy grenade launcher things. And then I want you to have this. How do I get it though? I need to lose some points. Do I take these off the front? I have to take both off. Oh, I could downgrade the fighters to the little ones. Ooh, flighters. Where are where are they? The funnels. Yeah, you do funnels and you can make them battleships. Um I have seventeen points left. What if I do that? What about that? You shield modulation? Yes, you do. You ballistic, you have gunnery and plants. This counts as energy. Target analysis, common endurance, and ordnance expertise. Alright, let's give you a try. See how you do. So you're gonna shoot these things. These little guys are on a gauge. They're gonna walk in and they're gonna. Well, I don't know why you're. Yeah. Missiles. Oh, the missiles actually hit. Oh my goodness. You're a monster. You're just an absolute monster. You use so much power, though. This doesn't. I don't know, I think you were just shooting these too much. They do for max ammo, they and they reload. Um here, fight one of these. We have fighters. They're so fast, these things. Look at them go. And they're weird, they're like flying guns. Wow. 
that. What? Okay. Can this thing fight a battleship is the next question. Um, probably not, right? You shoot, you're too heavy? I think I'm going to keep this. This is insane. Okay, he's got you shooting. You fired your missiles. You shot some laser beams. You're firing your big old plasma blaster. Oh, oh, they hit. Yeah, so you run really hot. So we'll have to give you... What are you guys doing? Oh, you're using your cool lasers. Are those fighters like PD? I don't understand. Oh, I guess they are shooting down some missiles. You're using them as PD, that's for sure. Yeah, so I have a feeling you might be really hard to use. Might be really hard to use. But you got ordnance expertise. You need um need energy expertise to run this build, I think. So who's got I mean all these are energy. You'd probably be better for it. The ballistic master does get used, but I'd have to... You're fine. You're fine. So we got one out of all of them built. <laughs> I think this is going to be fine. Um, I can't use the car by now. Other option would be to use like a rail cannon. That's 1100 range. That's so long. Got disintegrator available as well. Which also does tons of damage. If this thing hits... Goodbye. So what if I do that? Save a little flux on the ship. And then you got this crazy laser. I could give you... Disintegrator and Frayer. Because the Frayers do so much damage. Where, where'd he go? It's 14. Yeah, we could do something like that. That should you be outside. This thing's using a lot of power. Try you out real quick. Man, it's been 43 minutes. There's so many builds you can do on these, but it's it's three medium energy points. Which makes them a little different. So you got gunships. If that disintegrator hits under those shields, it's over for this guy. Okay. Shields too hot. Yeah, wow. That ship can't even take on the fighters. So there's that going on. It's tempting just to put bombers on every one of these ships because they are 74 speed. Increasing ballistic and energy damage by 25% and range by 200 and velocity and recoil compensation by 50. That's what the stabilizers do. But they're all going to need these. You're not going to need... Actually, you don't... This helps you. You have expanded magazines, so you don't need it anymore. I can deal with a 9 second reload on this. You fire these. Because you get really hot. 
Yeah, so you won't even need that anymore. And neither would you. Not required. Maybe cryo artillery is the way to go on all of them. Because cryo artillery. What does it look like? 350 per second. It's not that hot. I mean, you do it just by overwhelming with these things, and then I'm not even using these. I'm just using as much flux as you possibly can, giving everybody 20 to 100, 100 range. You got extra vision. You're just here to survey. So that's fine. Um, oh, maybe you don't get the range. I don't think you actually do. Maybe it's all oh, these guys. These guys get the range. These dudes will get the range. But they're also 25 points. They're a little bit faster, a lot less damage. Maybe I gotta switch these up. Run less carriers, but that's a lot of fighters. It's like a full carrier fleet. It's kind of nuts. Mm, I'll think about it in between episodes what I'll do. If you have a suggestion, please do um, let me know. I have to record... Let's see. I guess I can record these at night after. The video's released, so for the, this is the four o'clock video, so by like, you can have three hours after it goes up before I start recording, um, and I'll just record the two, so if you have a suggestion, let me know. I mean, it's not like I can't change it the following day, but generally, the idea is the fleet is going to run four battleships plus our siege ship, and then currently, 13 carriers. Um, and then I want to run a bunch of these so I can sell these ones because I'm not going to use them and then I'll fill the ranks with probably these guys the class A's no 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 it's not the class A's it's this one rotary cannon class G the G money class yeah a whole bunch of rotary cannons so we'll keep our DACA and they'll be 900 range for the battleships. They're quite tanky. And these are carriers. So they gotta do carrier things. So lots of PD. And then some missiles. Downside is I don't have big missiles for these. And hopefully the fleet can overwhelm stuff. Hopefully. Uh, I don't have... Look at all the ships. Oh, I do have some of these guys. I thought they got built. They're just small. Small and hiding. Okay. So let's have a look. Real quick. Um... Use some Spark PD. You got the core. So these things are long range, multi purpose. Yeah, just blasters. Um, and then you are shorter range, also blasters. The Pulse Blaster, 600 range, 150 damage. And that's, that's your job. And all these come with a Dorn Funnel. It's got a laser on it. But the thing is, they move so fast, they can't ever... They don't track perfectly. How fast are these? 110? And they all have weapon stabilizers? You have plasma rounds. So if I run the simulation, I gotta see this. I need to see what 
this looks like. Okay, so that's 10, that's uh, 90 points, okay? So if the opponents are, say, the hegemony, and they got like one of these, and then, you know, some of these guys, that's uh, 80, and then, I don't know, these two. Who's gonna win? So they also have a lot of destroyers. But yeah, we gotta let this go. The battleship's gonna be a hard part. So many fighters on the field, look at this. Fire the funny guns. Wow. <laughs> so many lasers. Um, they're not very good. They gotta get on a target. So because these are small ships, they don't shoot very far. So the downside of using the um, the mechs is that the destroyers, so they don't work well with... Uh, they're not going to work well with integrated. Yeah, I think these things are going to get beaten to a pulp. They don't perform well enough. Turns out the gas ship is the most broken ship of <laughs> the fleets. It's the fighters. Yeah, I think I'm going to stick with the fighters. I don't think the um, I don't think the cruiser fleet's going to be quite strong enough. Like the mech fleet, I think they'll lack too much. Um, oops, and simulation. So the real simulation should be, it could be this guy again. And we'll go allies. You gotta go in there and then we'll throw in these four guys along with all these guys. So we can play 216 and then we hit the G button and then they go up against, I don't know, who are we gonna be fighting? Probably, probably these guys to be honest. So we'll throw down some ships equaling to 16. So we'll throw in some more cruisers. We won't throw in the battleship this time. We'll pretend like they don't have one. All right. We'll just let this get together. There we go. So we have our cruisers. Obviously, the Caleb battleship is going to do work, but everybody in this big red circle should be in a good spot. Get that extra 100 range, 200 range, 100 range. Yeah, obviously the battleship is just going to do it. This guy, he's picking on somebody. They do a lot better than the other ships, that's for sure. The small ones. Big mechs do better. They can stand up the cruisers, even though the destroyers. Battleships are battleships, so. I mean, if you guys stay in the red circle, you can do it. Just trying to stay like as far back as possible to see. Yeah, I think it's going to be the fighter fleet. They're going to have to go up against a ton of Rosenbitter fighters. You just put the bomber and put the battleships on the field, and then bring in all the carriers, and that's it. Everything gets blown to bits with fighters. Just a mass horde of gunship fighters. And I don't think any fleet will have the, uh... Oh, that must have stung. Ooh. He's doing it. He's doing it. Gotta get your buddy up there, too. If he can shoot, 
Yeah, range is the problem. There you go. Fire the guns. Alright, fine, don't. Fire the guns. He has no way to deal with anything. And you do rip shields, that is true. And they, they, they like none of these ships, I think, I think my battleship can take on all nine of these ships by himself. It's just by nature of what the ship is. These guys are getting buffed for range. The fighters are doing fighters. Oh, one of our ships blew up. Yeah, okay. You get the point. The fleet is limited in its capacity to fight. But uh, we'll keep these around in case we need them for backup. I mean, they're fast, so fast attack craft for sure. Um, yeah, you need this. You need... What do you need? PD. I know what you need. A couple of these bad boys. You're right as rain now. Um, also, you're all damaged. I think I found you somewhere. The shields are pretty good to begin with, which is nice. Can make them even better. There we go. Yeah, and you guys have, I mean, you have integrated, but it's only integrated for frigate range. So that's 10%. This is an actually 80 range. Eh, it's okay. Why does I think they gotta fly in and shoot out? I don't know. Don't know. So I'll see you in the next one.